Hi everybody, Nate Lynn here. I have an interview with a very experienced Amazon entrepreneur. He successfully sold his business with website closers, brokerage that I work with as well. John Elder, welcome. Tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, how you got into selling things online and, and uh, then we'll kind of you know, walk through the process of you selling your business. We'd love to pick up some, uh, some you know, best practices and some learning lessons that, uh, that you experienced going through the process of selling a, a seven figure business. Yeah, definitely. Well, thanks, Nate, for having me on. Uh, my story is kind of unique in the sense of um, I had a um, pretty successful career in the construction management industry. So I went to University of Washington, you know, graduated, you know, with a degree in, in construction management and started working on really high profile uh, projects. Uh, one notable one was the San Diego Airport project. And we're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars uh, managing entire teams of people. And so there is always an entrepreneurial spirit in me, um, you know, for years, you know, in college, I started a moving company to pay for tuition. Um, and so there's always kind of like a sense of, I want to build something, you know, for myself. Um, so it didn't really hit me to start something legitimate. And when I say legitimate, I mean like, you know, an actual business with employees and, you know, financial statements and, um, that didn't start until probably, gosh, at least, you know, three years, you know, after post-college. And I realized that, you know, I was going to be, you know, slow increase in my salary, doing the 5% increase every year. Um, I started realizing I have two options. I can build a side gig business or I can, you know, change my job to a different company and then, you know, get the salary bump that way. But it sounds like you read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. No, you know, I never read that. No, no. That's, that, that's where I heard the same thing too. It's like, okay, well, I've got this career making three to 5% increases a year, or I can do my own thing. So yeah. I, re I regress. It, it, exactly. And that was inspiration. And, you know, people ask me, you know, why did you, you know, go down this road? And for me, the thing I value most is spending time with family and be able to, um, kind of decide how much time I want to spend with family or how much time I want to go travel or how much, uh, you know, how much I want to work. And so to do that, you really have to, you know, be an entrepreneur in, you know, kind of design your lifestyle a little bit. And to do that, you know, you have to have a business. So I just got researching, uh, honestly, just, you know, looking on Google, you know, looking at different business ideas. And so the Amazon FBA uh, business came up and that, that, captured my attention because it was so virtual you know once i found out oh my gosh most most of amazon's full of third-party sellers i was blown away because i always assumed it was just amazon um and so when i found that out i went down you know rabbit trail you know and started you know reading and researching and realized this is a real opportunity so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications about new videos and interviews and introduce yourself in the comments are you a buyer or a seller?